Hello everybody, welcome to the Airless Fun Cup Series race number uh, let's see, 18 or chase race number 3, however you want to call it and check out who's on the pole, it's Mason Wood with Dylan Young on the outside and William Duncan and Eugene to Max this is the halfway point of the chase and does getting a good finish matter any more, any more than now but Yep, and that was a lemonade just falling over, but luckily, luckily, it had no lemonade left in it, so it's good. So let's see how Mason Wood does today. He's sixth in the points at the moment. He's not too far behind Austin the Plant, but either way, it's going to lead him to the green. And Dylan Young is trying to look for a good run to. But both Dylan Young and William Duncan are looking for a points boost to help them out. Because we're going to Charlotte the next race, so you know how Charlotte was last season. Really was a difference maker that season, but... Whew. Very fast, 200 miles an hour. Speed by right there. Matthew Fuller underneath Mason Wood. Fuller was not very appreciated at Dragon Net for taking out a couple of drivers, but uh, Drew Austin now. Look at Drew Austin. He's trying to make something happen. He's struggled a lot. Here comes Kyle Zesnowski, who is entering the fray now. Whoa, Sanoski almost turned Drew Austin there. And Jake Cole is on the move as well, but Fuller has gained quite a gap now. Whoa. <laughs> They're very fast right now. They're going 210 miles an hour through these turns. Quickly check the back at the moment. It's Cody Lamas and Union Maxwell back really quickly. Here's the other drivers at the moment. Whoa, Schwallenberg is not giving Griffiths any room, but Griffiths holding on tight. And there's your points to Austin the plan in 11th place right now. Getting passed by fellow chaser Richard Johnson. But now the bow for the lead is going on between Drew Austin, Sosnowski, and Fuller. Flying right now, but whoa. Sosnowski's trying to pick up a, a first minute season. He's always been very close. Fortunately, he was very close at Granite Tour. He was very close at Moss Sport. I'm surprised he hasn't won a race yet, considering how well he, considering how close he gets. And Drew Austin, ever since Talladega, has not been very irrelevant. He hasn't been very strong. He hasn't really gotten finishes that he needed. And most of the time, it wasn't because of Rex, either. This car was not performing outside the super speedways. J. Cole trying to fight on the outside against Eric Burton. Burton has not won a race this season, nor has Buckeye. But whoa, whoa. But Richard Johnson now is getting into this. He's trying to help Bucky out of the moment and trying to help himself. And Kozlowski once again finding open field. Although he's been a part of that a lot of times, hasn't sealed the deal. Jake Cole. He's getting a good, very good run on him, and he's going to try and make a move here. And he does. And now he's got the support of fellow Chevy driver Eric Berg. Now, if I'm correct, I'm probably not, but I think it was Noah Hart who won here last season. I'm probably wrong, but... No, wait, well, yeah, I'm pretty, yeah, I'm, it may have been, but, but Richard Johnson's now moving up. 
Richard Johnson's third in the points. He's 14 points behind Austin LaPlante. Here comes Will Goss, who is 16 points behind LaPlante. Speaking of LaPlante, he's back there hanging in the back, probably waiting to strike. That six car is very, very good at strategy and such. I mean, he just comes out of nowhere and gets good, vic gets good wins and good finishes. Jake Cole has gained a quite a lead. And uh oh, here comes Richard Johnson. Richard Johnson's getting a little antsy. Here comes Jason Tross with a good run, along with Michael Block and Drew Austin. There's Derek Benassi. This could get real technical. Oh, God. Making sure we got nothing going on. Oh, this is like a huge lot of cars at the moment. Hopefully we stay clean here. Whoa, okay, that was very, 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 very technical. Careful, guys. <laughs> One wreck could wreck a points leader. J. Cole's hanging tough. Will Goss is trying to get that big run that can Give him a, a better points position in the chase. He could, and he can start doing that by beating Austin the plan, who is now on the charge. Lugas is one of the most consistent drivers of the season. He hasn't won a race yet, but he's fourth in the points. And he was in the chase for a long time. Look at Jason Tross got a huge run. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, caution's out for something. Austin the plants got damage. Uh oh. Oh, Cody Lomas with damage. Snosky looks like he may have had some trouble. But Lomas for this. And Lomas again, the second time this chase is wrecked down. Austin Ogo is continuing the bad luck streak. <sighs> well. So the check out and see what the heck happened to Ogo, but he was had a he was the dominant driver of the whole entire season up until the chase, so I guess we gotta see what happened. So this is what happened. Austin Ogo and Dylan Young were battling. Dylan Young gets a huge run coming out of the corner. And oh 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 god, okay. Well <laughs> that was bad. They just kept hitting each other like like a Donnie Allison and Kale Yarborough from the nineteen seventy nine Daytona five hundred, but someone else Sosnowski looks like he. Look at this. Wow, that was a close one. Didn't entirely avoid it. He did get some side damage, but he did a good job of not hitting him head first. As we head back to green, Richard Johnson, Austin the Planet, and Nick Mayshare are 8th, 9th, and 10th. And they are the top three in the chase right now. So that's quite interesting. We are a little over halfway into this race, and Jake Cole is still your leader. He's got Will Goss, Jason Trost, and Drew Austin behind him, and then Jeffrey Buckeye rounding out the top five. Will Goss and Jason Trost are looking for their first wins. The screen flag is back out. Goss got a good restart, but Trost got an even better one, and now he's already moving ahead. And Nick Mace is already trying to pass Austin the plane and force him to go back. But Jason Trost is hungry. He missed the chase by four points, and that's got to be some kind of motivation for them. I mean, that 26 team has been shown to be very decent and possible runner-ups for the win when they give the, when they're given the chance, but. Same for that 41 team of Derek Benassi. Benassi was very strong for a small s couple of races where he had like top five, like top 20, top 10 finishes all across the board and actually made up a lot of points, but then he started to had another bad streak. And now Richard Johnson, Nick Mason, Austin the Plant are forcing their way up to the front. And these guys are just running away from LaPlante, trying to get away from LaPlante right now. As Benassi is trying to enlist the help of Richard Johnson, but here comes Nick Mace. 
and Austin LaPlante for third place and fourth. Richard, that's not what he needed for sure. That's going to benefit Mace. And Mace has a huge run. Nick Mace is still searching for his first win of the season. And he slowed up real bad there, trying not to get into Benassi. And that might cost him because here comes Austin LaPlante. Going to make it three wide with the help of Michael Block. Richard Johnson's trying to get back down into the inside lane. Now, oh, Derek Benassi is your leader. But look at Richard Johnson. Nick Mays trying to work together and get the outside lane working. But no, Austin LaPlante comes up to block him. And that's going to allow Michael Block and Jacob Lawler to pierce him. Michael Block, I mean, he's trying to get for a second win, and his first win since Homestead. It's been over 10 races since that's happened. But LaPlante is giving everything he's got on that outside lane, but Jacob Lawler is trying to hunt for a good spot for himself as well. He's currently fifth in the points, and he's 27 behind LaPlante. It could make up some points if he gets a good enough finish, but he has to hold on. And look at Mace trying to force his way three wide in the middle. Trying to force Austin to play even further back. That 28 and that 48 are trying to make sure that it happens, but they're falling back quite rapidly. Is Richard Johnson is now going to get forced to the back? That's not good at all for him. It's, out, it's Nick Mace and Austin the plant battling. Oh, Mace. Oh, looks like Mace may have gone into the plant and he's going to force him wide. Oh, God. Okay. There's Dustin Griffiths. He's up to ninth place at the moment. And now, Jacob Lawler and Eugene Max have caught up to Derek Benassi. Or bonus say, however you want to say it. But Eugene Demax would love a second consecutive win and continue continue to have a good streak. I mean, he's very... He did a very good job winning at Mossport. Oh, boy. Matthew Fuller is now back up to the front. Fuller would love his first win since Donington Park. Look at the charge at the moment. A couple of late bloomers like Schwallenberg, Justin Perry, and Dustin Griffiths. Approaching eight laps to go here. Well, not eight, actually, like six. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, late bloomers. Oh, uh, there's Nick Mace. He's forcing his way, trying to get back up to the front and make up some points. But where is Austin the plants? Oh god. Three wide again. Austin the plan has fallen very, very far back along with Richard Johnson. Now the question is whether are they gonna catch up to Austin Ogo and Cody Lamas? I don't think Benassi's gonna want that one. But Benassi's trying to drive it home. He's got four and a, four ah, four and a half laps to go to hold on. He's got a hope he's probably hoping for a caution. But I think we're still green. Yeah, we're still green at the moment. But Eugene and Max is is a hunter. He's trying at the moment. Here comes Dustin Griffiths as well. Griffiths is trying to pick up a, a win for uh, Michael Block Racing. I mean, he's had a very up and down season, but get as many points as you can. And now approaching. Three laps to go. Can Eugene and Max catch up to Derek Benassi in time? Can Matthew Fuller do something? Benassi's going to try as hard as he can to block Eugene and Max at least. Oh, but the Max is now going to go down. Matthew Fuller's going to help him out. Fuller gives him a bump. Fuller ain't going to have none of Derek Benassi. And now Eugene and Max has a huge advantage. Here comes, here they go. And Matthew Fuller launches himself at Eugene Max with two laps to go. 
Fuller needs to wait. You be patient. I wouldn't pass him just yet. If he can pass him in turn one, he may be having it in the bag. But he's going to be all over that bumper of that 17. Here it comes Matthew Fuller to the inside of Eugene Max. Both of them looking to become multi-winners. Demax fighting hard on the outside though. But Fuller is going to try as hard as he can. Oh, but Demax did a very good job of blocking. Coming out of turn four. Can Fuller do something? No. Eugene Demax is going to win here at Texas Motor Speedway. Second consecutive win for that 17 team. And another win added for Roush in the, team, in the manufacturer points. Well, the manufacturer, uh, man, yeah, manufacturer points, but. How about that one? Eugene and Max back to back. Matthew Fuller got to get a run. Nick Bates is going to gain points. Same for Dylan Young. Well, William Duncan makes some ground climb. Slight ground for him. Mason Woods not going to make too much. Richard Johnson made it slightly. Same for Lawler. Austin the plan came out with a 22nd. He only finished ahead of. He didn't even fish ahead of a chase driver. But congrats to UG DeMax on winning here at Texas Speedway. And we will see you guys next time. See you guys at Charlie.